Hello and welcome to Bloxmaster. It is Monday today and it means that it is time for a new tutorial, new video for Blox users. Yes, I'm planning to do weekly videos on Mondays each week and it's not going to be only tutorials. I think sometimes it will be tutorials, sometimes it will be something else, maybe some review of the custom brick or maybe some news or something about blocks. So today I'm doing a small tutorial and it is actually to answer a few questions I have been getting recently. It is related to the change we have in the recent version of blocks. So let me create the new project here to show you something. You know that in a couple of templates I have that interesting navigation set up, for example, for the company template, I have two navigations, one placed in the main hero. Here I have this full screen navigation, you can see, transparent navigation. And there is actually another hero block on this same page, this sticky navigation enabled, which gives me this beautiful animation. And it is not possible anymore to do in blocks because in the recent version, I think it was updated to the new version of Bootstrap and it is basically ending the support for this future. Well, it wasn't basically the future, but it was something I was even teaching in my videos. But now, so before we could do something like that, let me quickly show what we were able to do and what you can do instead now. This is the latest version of Blocks. So I will quickly create the, well, let's create some hero image here, something like that. And well, I will add a few custom, not custom, I will add a few blocks. So we have some kind of design we can scroll. And let's just make the empty one like that. So, and well, usually, usually I could have placed the hero navigation block anywhere be be below the fold like that for example I could have enabled the sticky navigation and then if I would go to preview and if I scroll it would be scrolling already right now even before I get to this block now it scrolls it basically basically sticks and scrolls after you scroll down this block on your page so this is a difference we have in the recent version of blocks and it does change things, but it's still very cool feature, I believe. So the question I'm answering in this video is for my friend, well, Blocks user, Tom, I think. And he's asking me how I can create the, like, uh, first block, this, the image. Let's add the same image like that. He wants to have the full screen block, but he doesn't want to have any icons or any links here. I suppose he wants to have some kind of text. Let's make it some kind of text here. And let's change the font so it's a bit better visible like that. And well, tutorial for, tutorial for Tom. I think his name is Tom. Anyway, so tutorial yeah something like that so now i want to have the sliding navigation when i slide down so before we could have just placed this uh, hero navigation block below the fold enable the sticky navigation and it would work but now it needs to scroll to this block to work so what i can do instead i can do something else i can for example go before this block and add another block on top of this block. So let me add a simple hero navigation block like that. I will get rid of the content. We don't need it. And I will get rid of the bottom row. I will only leave the navigation, which I will make to look like it is actual navigation. Maybe let's make the logo better. Let's add some other color so it is better visible. Like that. 
yeah, well, maybe let's make it a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. 28, my favorite number. So what we will have now, let's try and see what we have now. First of all, I will enable sticky and I will go to browser preview. And as you can see, now we get this navigation, what we want, but we want it to be appearing, well, without this white space at the beginning, right? We don't need that. We just want the full screen image. So what we can do here is, well, it is, uh, this block is set to be full screen. So right now it fills the screen, but we can add the class to this block. Let's name that Tom class. Sorry, Tom, for using your name too much, but well, I need to type something. Okay, now I will go to the first step and I will change the minimal height to zero. What it will do, it will reduce this hero block to just the small block we have here for navigation. Now, we don't want to see that as well, right? So what we will do next, because if we just go to the same class, and if we just add the negative margin to the bottom of this header, so minus 95, because 95 is the height of the navigation I have here. So let's add 95, click done. Now if we go to preview, well, you can see that it, is, it was a 95. It is a bit bigger than that. Maybe because I changed the size of the text. So let's go back and change it a bit so it wasn't 95 it wasn't it was maybe 105 let's 103 i think so let's try that no it's not well it is 95 if you just leave the uh, link for logo the same size it was by default so without like guessing a few times you don't have all the time in the world i will just make this smaller again and i change the text to minus 95 pixels now i know that it will be hidden maybe 96 <laughs> okay well i did not prepare well enough for this video but well you are getting the result at the end of the day because now you can see i have the full screen image this the heading everything is great and when i scroll i will get this beautiful navigation this the scrolling effect and it should work fine on all breakpoints, I believe. Let's go to like smaller breakpoint. Still work fine. Works fine here as well. So yeah, I mean, this is how you can create something similar to what we had before, before the blocks 3.5.3. But to be honest, this is not what I would do for my website. What I would do, I will take advantage of the new version we have of Bootstrap and I would add the menu here and I will create the navigation. Let's make it look like navigation. And I will, I will make this sticky and now what it make, what it will make for me, it will make a menu which will not scroll down, but when I scroll, it will stick to the top of the page. Well, obviously right now it is not, it doesn't have any color applied, so it is not very beautiful, but we will make it white. Now I need to get to, uh, let's try again. <laughs> let's try the demo again. You can see that we scroll down and it just sticks to the top. Cool. I would do something like that, but if you want, you can Put one block over this one and, uh, well, change the size and add the negative margin to the bottom so it will be invisible but only visible when you scroll. So that's it for today's tutorial. Well, uh, this is the type of tutorial I'm going to do on a regular basis every week. And sometimes it can be tutorial, sometimes it can be in use. For example, today I was thinking maybe I should just uh, show how the blocks changed in the recent version but then I remembered Tom was asking me about this question so I have decided to combine the news with the new change we have in blocks this is a small tutorial for people who want to have something like this in their websites and yeah I think it might be helpful somebody 
So next week I will come up with another video. I'm not sure what it will be about, but I have a list of requests. So probably will take a couple of ideas from there. Yeah, I will see you next Monday. Have a nice and productive week. Goodbye.